Pat, I'm at the point now where these stories come out in the media, and I don't even know how to detect what is controversial about them. Like I, They come out, and everyone starts tweeting about them, and everyone's pissed off, and I read the story, and I don't even know, I can't even detect what the thing of the day is we're supposed to be upset about. Yeah. One of these yeah. stories, I had this story put in front of me yesterday, that Steve Nash, the former multi-time MVP of the league in the NBA, had... Hall of Fame member. Hall of Fame member. Uh, received, uh, or you know, he was awarded the coaching job, a head coaching job with the new uh, Brooklyn Nets. Not the New Jersey Nets anymore, Brooklyn Nets. And it seems like, okay, I mean, if, if Steve Nash is willing to do a, an NBA head coaching job, he's going to get an NBA ho- head coaching job. He played the position, point guard, best known for having knowledge of the offense. You're mm-hmm. running the team on the court. It's the most direct line to a head coaching job from uh, from player, right? And but it was a controversy. And I, I was looking at this I like what what's the controversy? Well, the controversy is he's white. And Steve Nash is white, therefore white privilege. Mm-hmm. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Pat, you might remember this better than I do, but isn't I feel like Steve Nash is pretty darn woke. <laughs> Like, isn't he? Isn't he one of these guys that's come out and talked about a lot of these issues before? Seems like it, and has been on the side. I, I get him mixed up sometimes with Steve, Steve Kerr because all those white guys look alike, and they're <laughs> both you point racist. guards. Yeah, I know. I no, know. it's okay. I'm only kidding. It's totally fine to say that <laughs> yes, all white people look alike. That's <laughs> I'm only kidding. That's not racist at all. Uh, but I know what you mean because uh, there's like there's been four um, white players in NBA history. And Steve Nash is one, and <laughs> right. Steve Kerr is the other. Yeah. Uh, and I guess that's part of the complaint here from Stephen A. Smith, who's, you know, I, I go, I really do feel conflicted about. He's like, Steve, Stephen A. Smith is like a Law and Order episode. Like, you're watching and you're like, oh, that murderer definitely did it. And then you're like, oh, no, he's totally innocent. You go back and forth, like, every commercial break. That's how I am mm-hmm. with Stephen A. Smith. I, we just played a clip of him. That was really good. It was really good just the other day, right? Yeah. I swear he does this because he gets praised by the right for these clips, and then within two days, he has to come out with like the most crazy woke thing he had possible, right. so he can right. like balance it. Mm-hmm. So here is his comment on Steve Nash getting the head coaching job of the Brooklyn Nets. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no way around this. This is white privilege. <laughs> what? This does not happen for a black man. What? No experience whatsoever on any level as a coach, and you get the Brooklyn Nets job? Mm -hmm. How the hell does this always happen for somebody else other than us? Why is it Mm. that we have to be twice as good to get half as much? Why is it that no matter what Mm. we do and how hard we work and how we go through the process and the terrain of everything, somehow, some way, there's another excuse to ignore that criteria? to ignore those credentials and instead bypass it and make an exception to the rule for someone other than Pause us. Pause it for just a sec. Uh, who are we talking about here? Who is the black person that should have gotten the job? Now, if you've got somebody specifically in mind, let us know. Who is it? No, it just has to be a black no, person. No, it's just, it's just any black any person at black all person. who How wanted about, the job. I got one Jacob Blake's dad. Let's uh, put okay, him yes. in charge because he's yes. black. Okay. He doesn't like Jews very much, but I don't think they have any Jewish ah, players. Whatever. So that's fine, I guess. He doesn't like white people very much either, but I don't think they have any white <laughs> players. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be a so worry. I think that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess that's the idea. You're right. Where's the what's Who are you who, talking about? Now, look, there are other qualified of course uh, black coaches, of course. But, but Steve, I mean, look, if you were going to take one player out of the NBA over the past 20 years, to say would be an, a, a, an easy fit to go from player to coach. You would it think it would be Steve Nash. probably would be Steve Nash. The man yeah. won. He's, he's, a, he's a relatively short white guy that won two MVPs as right. a point guard. Yeah. Like, he's the most obvious guy. And it was either him or Steve Kerr that played with Michael Jordan on the on the Bulls championship teams. <laughs> right. One of the two. We don't know. Actually one played with Michael really Jordan. Won, one played with Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like this is a, a, a bizarre argument. Here. It is really weird. Okay, but you're right. No no <laughs> specifics. I'm sure we could name plenty of uh, African American players but that he, would I don't think he, he does. I don't think he does. does. He? It just can't be a white guy. It, right. it seems to be the answer here. All but right. then I think he does kind of qualify that. Yeah. Uh, let's see this. Mm-hmm. Is Continue with the clip if we, if we have more. Oh, oh, oh that was it. That was it. That just oh, cut well, off mid sentence. Stop at a very good time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because he does go on to say that 
he deserves the job. Right, which is strange. Wait, uh, you just said he's got no experience, but he does deserve the job, which we agree with, and you like him, and he deserves the job. It's just that he shouldn't have gotten it right now because there's controversy right now about what? Uh, White privilege. White privilege. Right, which is very, very odd. Now, it's funny because as soon as you heard... Nash got the job. It was his, his first head coaching job. Uh, you know, he's never been a head coach, which is true. And it's, uh, it is a little strange, right? It doesn't happen mm-hmm. that often. The first thing that popped into my head was the only other guy I could remember it happening to, which was Jason Kidd, who also <laughs> coached the Brooklyn Nets. And is black. And is black. By the way, yeah. So, mm-hmm. his yeah, he's, his dad is black and his mom is white, I believe. Yes. Which I think that but qualifies. That, that's the Barack Obama yes. uh, thing. So, that makes it that makes it okay yes. to say that he's black, I think, in today's mm-hmm. world. The, the bottom line here, though, is this specific franchise did the same thing with a black player before Steve Nash. Who would right. be another person with the same position... A point guard, the same profile, right? Maybe not as good as Nash, but it's a Hall of Fame level player. I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame, but he's a Hall of Fame level player. Kid was a great mm-hmm. player. Mm-hmm. So th- this has already happened with the same franchise. And can like, if there is one world, one arena, one group of people that have no place to complain about white privilege. It's the NBA where we live in a country with 13% African American and the league is made up of 75% African Americans. Like hmm. how on earth can you describe that as a league of white privilege? And it's the only, almost like white people aren't allowed in it. Right. The only white people that are allowed are from Bosnia. Right. For some reason only Bosnians, <laughs> Bosnians can play in the NBA. Germans, <laughs> Serbians. <laughs> yeah. Yes, There's like four from... American white people in the NBA right now. Four of them. <laughs> it's just... That is a bizarre and, argument. And there, has there ever been a moment, Pat, that you sat back and be like, darn it, <laughs> why aren't there more white people in this league? Never. Uh, this is infuriating. Why? No. Why? Where are the whites? Never no, in my never. life have I considered White privilege that. doesn't seem to extend to that. No. To playing in the NBA. No, it which, by the way, are the best jobs. I don't know if anyone... Yeah. No one gr- gr- right. grows up and they're like 11 years old and going, gosh, Wish I, I can coach in the coach. NBA. It'll be great to be able to diagram plays for other people to, <laughs> to do. Well, at some point, another person that I know may hit a shot to win a championship. That's going to be yeah. incredible. But you, no one is on the court when you're a kid, you know, throw, tossing the ball around and being like, all right. And then... And then standing on the sidelines while they picture another person making the game-winning shot. Everyone wants to play the freaking sport. Yeah. And by the way, that's where you make the most money, too. Uh, it's where you get the highest mm-hmm. profile. And it can lead to other things like coaching jobs. But Steve Nash is absolutely qualified for this job, at least by the standards of today, when they pluck players all the time uh, from uh, 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 into, into coaching roles.